Okay, so as we all know, Baruto chapter 59 is going to be approaching, I believe on the 21st it is, when the next chapter is going to be dropping. And a lot of people are wondering what's going to be happening, what should we should be expecting for Baruto chapter 59. Now, I honestly don't feel like there's going to be a lot of surprises in these upcoming chapters. Like, we kind of have an idea of what to expect and what, we, and what we're going to be seeing these upcoming chapters. Because it's all set up for something bigger, which we know what it's going to be, right? Um, there might be a couple of little reveals here and there, like there is in every chapter, you know, most of them and on cliffhangers but um i don't think there's anything too crazy that we can't already expect or see coming um for example i believe that in barge chapter 59 we're probably going to see um some of the side effects from the otosuki pills um from amato like you said some of the side effects might be blindness or death i think we're going to see some maybe temporary blindness going on or something in regards to those pills i don't think that's just going to be thrown away and i believe that they're probably going to ditch it which is going to lead to faster otosuki Otsukification, or you know a karma spread something kind of odd that i did notice in baruto chapter 58 is that he did take the pills in the beginning of the chapter and in the same chapter he uses the karma right after so it didn't seem to really do anything so maybe the the pills either don't do anything they could uh maybe amato has a a secret agenda which i'm kind of suspicious of he's a very sketchy character um they could make it faster um it, they could either not work or they could just ditch it all together because of the side effects and um we might we might see because of the side effects that are starting to show themselves and uh on the topic of amato i feel like he's definitely just there like in the hidden leaf village and i don't really trust him i feel like he's gonna be he's definitely gonna be uh coming up with something um, and I feel like one of the things that he could have some influence with is, uh, Kawaki getting his karma back. Again, as we saw in Baruto chapter 58, I believe Baruto hit Kawaki with one of his, uh, jutsus, uh, lightning style jutsu, and Kawaki lost the fight because he tried to absorb it because he forgot he didn't have a karma seal. Now, I feel like that's kind of, uh, a little bit of, uh, foreshadowing for the fact that he might want to get it back and Amato can probably help him do that or get his own form of a karma seal. Because as we see at the end of the, the show, Baruto and Kawaki both have karma seal so Kawaki is going to get it back and this is just foreshadowing of that in Baruto chapter 59 we can probably be certain to see some mention of code or Ida and what they'll be doing just a very very vague a very very um limited basically some limited panels and not too much much like we saw in the Baruto anime when uh before we got to see Urashiki fight we saw a lot of uh, Momoshiki Kinchiki and Urashiki just kind of chilling and doing their own little thing behind the scenes for just uh, one or two minutes uh, in, in some of the epi earlier episodes before we got to see them in action. I feel like it might be something very similar to that, where uh, the chapter's main focus is going to be centered around Baruto, Kwaki, and, you know, the Hidden Leaf Village. And uh, here and there, we might see little glimpses of what is happening with Code and Ida. And maybe we might see a showcase of her abilities one uh, another time, so we can kind of have a better understanding of exactly what they are. Again, we know that there's a possible upcoming time skip uh, with some definite training going on. On. Um, I already made a video kind of talking about what we should be expecting for the time skip, but let's just kind of mention what we could see in the very beginning, maybe chapter 59, 60, 61, that area. We're just, so like I said, we're definitely going to see a lot of training. We already saw Baruto and Kawaki talking about that, possibly a new jutsu. Something that I think is very interesting, I think could also happen very early, Baruto Shippuden, I, could, I guess you could say, is uh, the potential of uh, Baruto versus Naruto. Much like in the beginning of Shippuden when you saw Naruto and Sakura uh, when they redid the bell test with Kakashi and passed with flying colors without even having Sasuke. I feel like they might do something similar where Baruto might kind of uh, face off against Naruto. So we can kind of, um, first of all, see kind of where he's at, power skill him easier, and you know, give some character development and show how far that they have come in this time skip. We also saw some disagreements with Baruto and Kawaki in, Bar in Baruto chapter 58. Um, and although there's a debate on which one goes rogue, I kind of posted uh, a little poll on what you guys thought, and most people thought it was going to be Kawaki, the one that goes rogue, because, you know, the show's called Baruto and whatnot. Uh, I know there's a little bit of debate on that, and a lot of, some people are beginning to think that Baruto goes rogue, which would make more sense in a way, but right now all the evidence points to Kawaki. So, as of now, it's probably going to be Kawaki that goes rogue, and if he does go, go rogue, I think it would make sense to do it right after the time skip, right? So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's probably going to go to Amato, try to get his karma back, and right after try to uh right after during the time skip he goes rogue and maybe tries to take care of code himself right because we saw that they disagreed with that and barto didn't want to use his karma to uh, on code but maybe kawaki might use his new karma 
on code because that was his uh idea of killing him and taking over his body so i'm very excited for that and you know by the early chapter 60s um like building upon this i think we might see because we know that um baruto has kind of taken a lot of elements from naruto and kind of redoing them you know kind of revamping them doing some similar things seeing what worked what didn't work with naruto like the tuning exams and that kind of stuff we got kind of saw that redone in in baruto with shikadai becoming the tuning again much like shikamaru did um so by the early chapter 60s i feel like potentially we could see a valley of the end type fight where kawaki goes rogue and i feel like in that fight baruto could potentially get his scar which we see when baruto fights kawaki at the end of the show right he has that scar over his face and i feel like that might take place maybe right before the time skip uh after kawaki gets his karma back or somewhere around then because i feel like i see a lot of mirroring with baruto and uh, naruto and i feel like just how naruto and sasuke fought when they were younger and then they fought again at the end of the show i think we might see something very similar where uh right before the time skip baruto and kawaki fight and then at the end of the, again uh towards the end of the show they they fight again with their karmas reactivated and everything and completely revamped also i did see a very interesting thing in the comments just kind of a minor side note is that the staff kawaki is holding could be a truth seeking orb because obviously uh as we know that by the time we reach the end of the show they might be full otosuki's um in dna and maybe, maybe not in visual appearance but in dna and that could be a truth seeking orb so i just thought that was kind of interesting because you, as we know that they can kind of change shapes and uh, they can take that shape and it, it, it does kind of look like one i guess if you really think about it but anyways when we get some official spoilers obviously i'm gonna get, let you guys know first let me know what video you guys want to see next in the comments also if you guys like more videos like this don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one We'll